One of my previous videos, I showed installing bearings in VW hubs, Audi hubs, and showing you how to do it properly. Now, what I used was the rear hub carrier off a B3 Audi, but they're basically the same install problems for installs for the front of VWs, the front of Audis, or the rear of Audi Quattros up to, oh, it's hard to say what year. You'd have to look at the other video. On the later hubs, the early hubs had a snap ring that fit in there. The later hubs have a lip. They just machined the lip in there instead of putting in a circlip. The idea is when you press in the bearing before you press on the hub, the bearing goes all the way up against that circlip or it goes up against that lip that's machined into the hub carrier. I pulled a couple of um, hubs off a of B4 Audi a little while back and I'm going to show you how it's done wrong. Now when the bearing isn't pressed all the way in, that pushes out the hub a little bit. When you put in your CV joint and attach it, the CV joint now is too far in to the hub carrier and it actually may rub. So anyway, we're gonna go up to the bench and this is gonna be a handheld. The overhead won't work here because I need to show you what's happening. Okay, what we have here today is a B4 hub, a B4 hub, and this one's off a of B310 valve. Now, as you can see here, the bearing is up against the lip, okay? Now, if we come over here to this first B4, if you look closely, there's a gap between the bearing and the machined stop. Sorry about the jerky camera, but, and if we look at this one, it's exactly the same way. Now these two bearings came off the same car. And so whoever did this work, did both of them incorrectly. So I just wanted to show you how that worked. Okay, so the CV joint rides in here. And this lip, if the CV joint goes in too far, the CV joint will rub on that, or the possibility of rubbing on that. The other thing is, is how it sticks out. I don't know if you can see the gap here, but you see the gap where the hub is? That's about the same distance that the bearing is out on the back. So this will give you more camber than you need. And it may also artificially wear out the bearing. So if you tighten all this back up, the bearing's not up against that lip. This is what holds it all together. I'm surprised this thing didn't blow a bearing. But anyway, these are my thoughts. If you wanna see how to do this correctly and how to put the bearing in properly, you know, you can go to my uh, previous video and see how it's done. These are my thoughts. This is what I found. Hopefully you don't.